All right, big thank you and a shout out to Joe Bro for uh, hooking me up with all this beautiful target wood and a uh, little secret spot here in Memram Cook. I'm gonna be getting into this for a little while. This will uh, hook us up for at least two months at the Timber Lounge. Um, these two little trees here, they're uh, suitable for the double bit axe throwing targets, 22 inches up to the 25 inch range. We'll get into this and see what we can make from all this uh, beautiful pine timber. Okay, well, it looks like I have a bit of a dull chain on this saw here. Last time I used it, the log was too close to the ground, so it looks like I uh, might have dulled the tip a little bit. So I'm going to use my tailgate vise, something that I fashioned up myself here, which is a uh, stump vise into a 2x6, and that sits straight niftily in between the uh, tailgate and the back end of the truck. Now this is a great station for uh, sharpening your chainsaw. This is my 36 inch bar. It's uh, quite a long saw, so I'm gonna be here for a while. But basically, yeah, using this tailgate vise, something I came up with. I don't think I could patent it or anything like that, but it definitely is handy. Just a generic stump vise. This one's an Echo, Husky Steel, they all have one. And this allows you to get right over top of your saw. And, uh, and thus, what you're doing is you're seeing the angle perfectly from above. Whereas opposed to a regular um, desk vise, you know, a bench vise, you're off to the side. When you switch sides, the angle tw switches. So in this case here, I'm, I'm sharpening left and right handed. Now, a lot of loggers that are used to uh, filing in the bush, they'll use the same technique. They're gonna hump over a saw and kind of press it down with their chest as they get over top of it and file. I learned this from uh, Glenn Erickson out west, very proficient uh, forester. And uh, he showed me this technique. I've used it ever since. And you can be very, very proficient. So I'm gonna take about four strokes per tooth on this and uh, go hard. It's gonna take me a bit, so I'll shut off the camera and we'll get back to cutting wood in just a bit. All right, chainsaws all sharp here. Um, I didn't have to take down my rakers, they were fine. Made a few cuts. We're just in this snowbank, so shouldn't get a dull saw by hitting any gravel. This is all porter wood. Nice stuff from Joe Bro. Then I get continue cutting and see what we have here. Have a look. Oh, oh no. Looks like we're into a little bit of rot here. We had a couple nice sticks out of this and shoot, have a rotten center. I mean, it will be suitable for a little bit of throwing at the lounge, but uh, really a rotten target. The ax hits it pretty deep. I don't think I'll even bother band these ones. We'll see what we can do. Oh, darn. Yeah, so you can kind of see here we have a little bit of rot, uh, punkiness in the middle. That's unfortunately going to make for a soft target, especially around the bullseye. And believe it or not, folks, that's where everybody likes to hit. And, uh, well, we'll get a little bit of use out of these, but, ah, shoot. They're not good for lumber at this point. I, there's going to be a lot of rotten boards. We'll get a few throws out of this and uh, make for some fun throwing at the lounge. All right, I'm into my second block of wood here and to some really good cotton now. Joe, you gave me a nice stick. This one's gonna be a beauty. This one here is just right around that 23 inch mark. Now that is perfect for the two inch targets. Nice piece of white pine. This one's gonna be a perfect one to throw at. Great addition to the lounge. Thanks, Joe. And we'll get you into the 
throwing pretty soon. We'll get you hooked up with a, a medium weight ax and something that you can throw with that shoulder of yours. Thanks for the wood. And we guys will see you at the lounge. Uh, so I just met this guy here and we hooked him up with some nice, um, you know, some wall hangers and maybe even a beer table. And he told me something about a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to have a party down in the, at the camps here. Down here tonight, screen yeah. fever, music, outside, everything going. Well, I'm a little dirty here, sawdust and stuff. You got a, like a hot tub there too or something like oh, that? A little no, shower or something? <laughs> so, probably some, something, to, uh, something hot there? Yeah. <laughs> You'll find something <laughs> tough on top of me. All right. Yeah. Well, that's good, Raymond. Well, I hope you enjoy your uh, well, wood here and stuff. You. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, if I get lost, I'll come look you up in the bush. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Anytime. Yes, yeah, sir.